Some streets in downtown LA are already shut down this morning. That's right. At least 60,000 people are expected to rally today, calling to an end to gun violence and mass shootings on campuses. CBS 2's Joy Benedict and also KCAL 9. She is downtown where the uh, march is about to kick off. Joy, it looks like a lot of people are there already. Oh yeah, what a difference 30 minutes makes, right? I mean, take a look at this crowd behind us. We're on the back side of the stage for the rally. So you have people here, you have the entire other part of the block all packed right now as so many people are waiting for this rally to begin in about 20 minutes or so. Um, it's going to begin with the walk then starting shortly after at around 10 o'clock, and they're marching all the way to City Hall. But I am joined now by two lovely ladies, Olivia and Danielle, seniors from North Hollywood, part of the student organizers that helped did this. And Olivia, I'll start with you. Why did you want to get involved? Why was this important to help plan? After seeing what happened in Parkland, and many times before that, I realized this was an issue that I was passionate about. And after Parkland, I did some research, got in touch with the movement here in LA, and realized that it was something that I wanted to be a part of. Went to the first meeting and was really excited to start organizing. Why does it excite you to organize something like this? Because it's so important to me and to a lot of people here in the U.S. And getting to make a difference is why it's so important to be a citizen that's involved. And it's really, really exciting in that sense. Well, Danielle, I'll ask you, what do you want to come from this? What is the ultimate goal? Change. Change in legislation, gun reform. We're not here to take anybody's Second Amendment rights away. We're here to reform gun laws to make it harder for people like Nicholas Cruz to get guns. And protect your own rights. And protect our own rights, exactly, because school should be a safe place, not one where we should be afraid of being shot. Well, we're still an hour and a half away from the march itself, but look around right now. What do you it's guys amazing. think of this? It's, it's amazing. It's so amazing to finally see this come to fruition and see that there are so many people backing us and this movement. Danielle, what is it like in your school? I know, thank goodness, you guys haven't had any sort of a shooting at your high school. But what is it like going day to day knowing that these things are a possibility? It's very frightening. I mean, my school has definitely taken action to have more drills and practice, but the fact that that is, is even happening is ridiculous because we should not be worrying about that in our schools. Well, thank you, ladies, so thank much. I know so you have much. a lot of work to do. You've done a lot of work, thank and you. it seems to have turned out for you, right? <laughs> so nice to see young people getting involved in, in whatever it is that they're passionate about. And here today, it is, is protecting guns and protecting lives and uh, making sure that everyone stays safe. So, um, Amy, Serene, I'll send it back to you guys again. The rally is about to start at about 9 o'clock. The march at 10 o'clock. If you are coming downtown, you have to know that there's a lot of streets that are blocked off here on Broadway as well as Spring, and they're going to be shut down until around 2 o'clock or so. Good to know. What a crowd out there, Joy. Thank you so much for that.